Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today playing some more Clash Royale. Now, the topic of conversation today, um, as you can see from the title, is the best time to play. Now, that may seem like a weird um, statement to ask or not to ask or to just kind of think about, but I genuinely do think that there is a best time to play for each person. A time where you play the best, a time where you face opponents um, that you can beat better, um, and things of that sort. And for me, that's always been the morning. Um, so I'm sure that many of you guys have experienced a time... I'm going to go ahead and just uh, and throw some replays into uh, the background here um, as, we, uh, as we play some people. So... For me, like I said, it's always been in the morning. I don't know why. Maybe my mind is still kind of asleep and I don't think too heavily into things. I can just kind of play naturally. Um, and, uh, I, I mean, again, that's just that's just what it's always been for me is that the morning has always been um, the best. So, for you guys, try and figure that out. And, and it's, it's hard sometimes. It's really hard sometimes because... You first of all, I don't know why you, why you would fire uh, fireball uh, a Valkyrie. It's not she. It doesn't take that much damage. Um, but um, it's hard because like me, you guys know how many games I have played. We'll look at it after this. How many wins I have? It does, doesn't even count how many losses I have. I um, mean, you guys know how many times I've gone on tilt. Um, so there's definitely a lot of losses in there. But um, it's hard sometimes because you just want to play. You know what I mean? Like you enjoy the game. You just want to play. You want to have fun. Um, and oftentimes, uh, it just sucks because you're like, I don't want to stop playing right now. Even though I'm losing, I'm having fun. And then you start losing, and then you try and win. Watch this free spell right here. Uh, get wrecked. And uh, we have our elixir pump down. I know I'm going to get some... Uh, <laughs> I know I'm going to get uh, some elixir from it. So we're going to be able to uh, drop off and uh, defend this push. But he's going to come in with his royal giant that I wasn't prepared for, which really sucks. Honestly, probably shouldn't have put the cannon down. Uh, but it's no big deal. We'll drop off the Valkyrie there as well. He's going to go ahead and fireball and uh, get that tower down real far, but not too big of a deal. So, um, like I was saying, find that time when you know you play best, get there, especially if you're pushing. If you're not pushing, it's fine, um, but I, I feel like all of us, generally in this game, there's, there's just pushing. Like, you want to get up, you want to see how good you can do. Um, and so, for me, uh, finding that time and just focusing during that time and just going after it and playing. And then other times, like dueling or friendly battling your clan mates, figuring out new strategies, etc., etc., uh, can be a lot of fun. Um, so that's one thing that I'll do during that extra time. But, like I was saying, just find that time, guys. And if you want to, look at this. There was a cannon, a Valkyrie, and a Musketeer on that Royal Giant, and it still survived. Freaking kidding me. <laughs> um... But that's really just the topic that I wanted to start off the video on. Uh, this is That is a very valuable arrow right there. Two elixir pumps, a princess, and both towers get out of here. Um, we're going to go ahead and freeze back here uh, as well. And sadly enough, I did not freeze the king tower, so that was dumb. Um, but yeah, so find that time, guys. And during that time, just, you know, play and focus and put on music, whatever it is, if you're trying to win, of course. Um, or you're like trying to push and, and whatnot. So right here guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this guy down who was at 41 something um, And uh, we're gonna go ahead and give him a good game there. Um, this strategy is really good works really really against Royal Giants if you're prepared And you don't play too fast. Um, I think that we got like uh, what 35 for that one. Is that what that was? Um, yeah, 35 for that one. So so far this morning you can see um, not 10 hours ago. So we won, we lost, we won, we won, we won, and we won. So we're doing really well. I'm going to show you guys uh, this match against a spawner deck because a lot of people hate spawner decks. You talk about them all the time. Here's one way with this deck that you can defeat the spawner deck. Um, <laughs> I love doing this. It's so much fun because spawner decks are expensive, honestly. Like, the Barb Hut is expensive, and when someone plays that, and you have an elixir advantage, you can just go after it. You know what I mean? You got to take advantage of that. Um, generally, it's not a bad idea to ignore spear goblins. Like, as you can see, I dropped off that Valkyrie in the back and let some of them get hits because I wanted to build up a push. Um, so we'll go ahead and drop off our cannon right here. I'm going to go ahead and arrow. Um, and uh, watch this. 
noob mistake. I hit the freaking crown tower. Uh, or <laughs> the king tower. Uh, oops. Which was so bad, but it's okay. It ended up not being too big of a deal. He's gonna fireball us right there. Um, and uh, we've still got that cannon up with our tower. That's gonna take out all those goblins, which is good for us. And uh, now we've got two pumps down. He has zero. So our production is really good. Watch this. This is the push that I'm talking about. One, two... And we're gonna get over here and what's gonna happen I don't know we're gonna go ahead and uh, freeze and we're gonna do a lot of damage because that barbarian hut cost him a lot all he has is the princess uh, to drop off over there he had to get something down quick and we're gonna get that tower down to 74 guys as his other tower um, as our tower is still over 3,000 so at this point what am I doing I'm gonna put everything on this right side that he's spawning and uh, just try my best and defend it. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the princess. Deal damage to the tower as well as both barbs. <coughs> Ooh. Um, and then continue building up elixir. Because we know our arrows can take out that other tower. No problem. I already give them a good game. Some of you guys might think that's rude. But hey, whatever. Um, we'll drop off our cannon and uh, our Valkyrie. Valkyries work great against spawner decks. Um, so do princesses. But I don't have a princess in this. He's going to use his fireball back there on my elixir pump. Which I don't think is good at this point for him. Uh, that's not what he needs to be doing. He needs to be destroying my troops that are destroying him. Uh, not destroying my elixir pump. Um, so we're just going to build up another one over there on the other side. He can fireball it if he wants to. And we'll go ahead and send our hog rider over there. And here's something interesting. I thought the hog was going to go after the goblin hut. Uh, but it doesn't. But we're going to go ahead and freeze over there anyways. And uh, drop off our musketeer right here in the middle to take out that uh, goblin hut. And then we've got two musketeers over there. Princess over there. Everything over there. We're going to drop that cannon on his side. Don't really know why. That was actually kind of dumb. And we're going to go ahead and arrow over there as well. Um, and drop off this. Drop off that. Blah, blah, blah. Doing work. Only 15 seconds left in the match here. Uh, Musketeer is taking on that Valkyrie. He's going to fireball again, but that's not that doesn't do anything to the Musketeer unless he has the Princess down because she still has health um, and she can do uh, some work behind this little lady. So we'll drop off our Hog as a little bit of a distraction and we're going to take that W right there. So when you're facing the Spawner deck, guys, you got to take out the other tower quick. Um, or, and when you do that, it either makes them drop off their Spawner on the other side and then they're in trouble because they don't have that big wave coming. Or whatever it may be. So let's go ahead, uh, get into a live match here, see how we can do using this deck. And uh, I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds once uh, we get into a match, all right? All right, so we're back in a match. Astro Boy from PH Alliance. Um, good luck. Good luck. So I don't really like this starting hand at all. We're going to see if we can test him right here with a hog rider. See if we can get off a couple hits. Nice. So that actually wasn't too bad. He's going to drop off his barbs. Hog rider, get there. Wow. Really? All right. So sometimes the hog rider makes it through the barbarians. Sometimes the hog rider doesn't even come close to making it through. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> There's one barb on our tower. That's fine. Even though he is going to do a lot of damage um, to the tower, which really sucks. But that's fine. We've got our... Um, Wow, so he's going to try and build up a big push right here, um, and he's going to fireball all of that, and uh, she's going to go down. We do have our cannon, and we've got our freeze, so we should be fine here. Of course, the royal giant is coming at us, as everybody knows, is uh, bound to happen. So we'll go ahead and drop this off right here, and freeze all of that. And you know what? Let's Can I hit Can I hit all of this? Yeah. Oh, I threw it back. Do you guys ever do that? It's the worst. You throw it too far back, um, but that's fine. So we're going to do a little bit of damage to his tower and uh, that uh, goblin hut. And we're going to drop off our other elixir pump right here. Hopefully he doesn't... Okay, what? How did he just cycle back through to that? Wow, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. I did not think... That's why you do that push, or that's why they do that push. They put it in the back, build all the way up, cycle through everything, and then you're in a lot of trouble. But as you can see right here, um, he doesn't have any elixir pumps. We've got two down. Our last one just popped. There goes his final one. We've got to get up there to that tower, guys. So we're going to go... Oh, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Do not... No. Do not tell me that my internet is messing up. I'm not going to have that today. There goes that fireball, and we're going to go ahead and push right here. And where is where are the barbs? Where are the barbs? Where are the barbs? Well, there's a cannon. We'll go ahead and freeze right there. And let's go ahead and arrow. And this should be it, guys. Uh, why did I just arrow that? I don't know. But we can go ahead and take it. Ah, get, get, oh, yes, the Valkyrie survived. Valkyrie survived. And oh, wow. 
Alright, so we're gonna save all this up because we know what he's gonna have. There it is right there. And let's go ahead and drop this and drop this. And freeze it all. Boom! And Valkyrie's going to survive. We've got the lead over there. Um, and let's go. We'll drop off our Musketeer as well. And, um... See what we've got going here. We'll go ahead and drop off our hog also. I'm going to be a little bit aggressive here with this push. And uh, take that out as well. Let's go ahead and just arrow just for fun. And come on, get in there, hog. Get in there, hog. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And we'll go ahead and go Valkyrie and Cannon and Freeze. And we have got the lead right here. He's going to go ahead and fireball that. Not too sure why. And we're going to go ahead and drop off our hog rider. He's going to drop off his Cannon. And we are going to arrow once again, guys, and take that out, even though that wasn't really necessary. Get over there, Valkyrie! <laughs> Let's drop off our Musketeer. If she can get in there, that's going to be money for us. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Um, so we got to be a little bit careful here. Uh, go ahead, drop off our Valkyrie, and drop off our Freeze spell. And we've got to get over there to that tower, guys, very, very badly. He's going to go ahead and Fireball. We're going to drop this off um, and go Hog Rider. Come on, Hog. Get in there. Get in there, Hog. Get in there, and let's go ahead and arrow uh, just to slowly do a little bit more damage. And we should be able to get one on that tower. Got him. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Playing in the morning. <clears throat> that was a good push. Um, good game, buddy. You actually, he actually did play fairly well against that. So 41-72, my highest record this season so far. Local, we are um, ninth and global. I don't even freaking know, man. I'm 52nd, which is crazy. There's so many people that are... Um, pushing up really high right now um, that is just it's just crazy so thanks so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed again remember find your time where you play best and play then and do well <laughs> i love you guys so much i'll see you on the next episode as always make sure you keep calm and you clash on all right peace